I'm Claire. Hi, I'm Story. Hi, I'm Sean. Hi, I'm Ryan. And we are in kindergarten. This is what we are doing in technology. The kindergartners learned how to log into the VDI with their username and password. Then, to get to the page, they clicked on Gmail, clicked on the waffle, then clicked on Classroom. Lots of steps, but they are doing a great job. In Classroom, they are working on a Google Slide show called My Nursery Rhyme, which is like a book. They watch videos of different nursery rhymes, then draw pictures to illustrate the nursery rhyme. They use shapes to illustrate the pictures and learn how to color their shapes. They also learn how to search for images of the animals you find on Old McDonald's head of farm. They colored their cover, then learned how to present their slideshow. They had a lot of fun watching the videos and illustrating their books. This is my favorite illustration. 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 Please come to the tech lab so we can show you what we've done. Hi, my name is Morgan. I am Ella Kay. I am Marty. And I am Melody. We are in first grade. We are working on a research project with presidents. First, we watched a Brave Pop Junior m m video on presidents. We talked about what a person had to be to be a president. Moby could not be president because he was not born in the U.S. and he was not 35 years old. We then went to Google Classroom and opened our Google slide of presidents. Miss Foley said, this is a shared slide. We found out what it is. That meant. We all clicked on the first slide, and you could see everyone see everyone's initials on the slide. If one person deleted something, it deleted them from, from all of our slides. We looked at the website Dexter's. We found information on George Washington, the first president. Miss Foley started typing on her slide, and it went on. Our slide, it was like magic. Once we finished George Washington, we were each assigned a slide and began our own research. We researched a president and wrote the information on paper. Then we had to type the information on our own Google slide. We added a picture of our president and we had to cite our sources. That means that we had to tell where we got our information. Now we have a book of presents made by everyone in our class. Please, Please come, come to, to the tech lab, lab so, so we can show, show you what we did. Hi, my name is Eddie. I am Grace. And I am Ella. And, and we, we are, are all in second, second grade. We wrote personal narratives in our classroom. We, we wrote, wrote autobiographies in our classroom. classroom. First, we all wrote our stories in our notebooks. Then we edited our work. Next, we put our work on Book Creator. Book, book Creator lets you get creative. You can add your own pictures, photos, and sounds. I even added a song to my story. <laughs> After our stories, we are done. We added them to Seesaw. Seesaw is an app that we use as a portfolio. All our best work is kept there. If you haven't looked at Seesaw yet, come visit our classroom. 
We shall show you how you can do it. I am Brianna. I'm David. And I am Riley. We are, we are also in second, second grade. We, we worked on a project of landmarks. We watched a Brave Pop Jr. video on the Statue of Liberty. We talked about landmarks and monuments. We learned that the Statue of Liberty has seven points on her crown that represent the seven seas and the seven continents. The statue is modeled after a Roman goddess. She wears a broken chain on her foot to represent fr fr freedom. One foot is forward, meaning stepping into the future. We then picked a landmark or a monument that we were interested in researching. We had to come up with three reasons why we picked that landmark. We started taking notes on the location of the landmark, the distance to the landmark, and the three interesting facts about the landmark. All of our information is going in a app book creator. We added a title card, a map of the location of our landmark, and our three facts. We also drew our own landmark colored that had a picture of it and included that in book creator. We had to tell what our landmark was on it. Finally, we recorded our voices reading our own story. Please come to second grade so, so we can show you our landmark books and all the cool things we have done on our iPads. Hi, I'm Kaylee. I'm Grace. And I'm Joey. And, and we are in third grade. Third grade. This, this is what we did for our project-based learning. First, we watched a brain pop video on Harriet Tubman. She was a slave and she helped other African Americans get free from being slaves. Next, we talked about Harriet Tubman and how she was an important person in black history. We then went on the website Fact Monster. Miss Foley gave us letters of an African American. This way, we didn't all choose the same person. We then chose an African American that we wanted to research. Then we wrote down information about that person. We saved pictures of our person to our iPads. Then we added those pictures to the app iMovie. We added the text and recorded our voices reading the facts. We will share the iMovie with our class and we can also share with our parents. I chose Richard Gordon Hatcher. He is a law professor. I chose Bessie Smith. She was a young blues player. I chose Sudge Knight. He founded a record label. Please, Please come, come to the grade so you can see what all the neat things we did on our iPads. Hi, I'm Jack. And Matt. I'm Quinn. We are in fourth grade. We are we are going to tell you about our Genius Hour project. It is a big social studies project. First, we had to choose two things we are passionate about. Next, we made three questions for our topic. One question was a yard question. The other two are foot questions. A yard question is a big question that might take a, a lot of research to find the answer, or there might not be an answer. A foot question is a question with an answer that's a little longer than an inch question. An inch question is a question that you could easily Google. He got one of our topics approved by our teacher. 
Then we filled out an outline. We started to research every Tuesday in Tech Lives. We blogged, we wrote about what we did the week before. Each fourth grader has a page on our Genius Hour Google site, where we blog. We had a teacher conference to discuss our Genius Hour topic. Then we researched a little more. After finishing our research, we had to decide how we were, how we are going, how we would present what we learned. Some people chose models, posters, Google Slides, or others. We, we made our presentation and we had to create a script or an outline for a presentation. Then we presented them to the class. My project was about computers. My favorite thing that I learned that computers can change lives and do practically anything. My top book was How to Clean Water. I learned that even if water is clear, it does not mean it's clean. My favorite thing I learned was that water could be so harmful it can kill people. Now we are working on our second Genius Hour topic. Please, Please take, take a look, look at, at our, our website, website for our Genius, Genius Hour. Hour. Hi, I'm Mickey. Anna. Amelia. Great. We are, we are in fifth, fifth grade. Tonight we will show you how we did our project based on learning title, Explore History with Technology. First, is as an entry activity, Ms. Grebner and Ms. Danaher read us an article and showed us a Google presentation about the steps and how an archaeologist works. Next, we were introduced in to our driving question, which was, why is it important for historians to try and solve mysteries about the past? And how can current technology help? This driving question helped us lead in, our, in gathering our information. To focus the scope of our work, each group developed their own three investigation questions. Some of, them in, some of the investigation questions that the teams came up with were, who, which experts are involved in solving mysteries about the past? What roles do different experts play in solving past historical mysteries? What are some past historical mysteries that were solved by historians, archaeologists, scientists, and how were they solved? What are some past historical mysteries that were not solved by historians, archaeologists, or scientists? Why were the experts not able to solve these mysteries? What technology do archaeologists use today, and how has that technology changed over time? Once we had gathered our information, we had to decide how we were presented to our classmates. The form of, our, of the final project was up to each individual group. The final product might have been an exhibit for a museum, a news report about a discovery of an artifact and its significance, a Google presentation about an unsolved historical mystery, a dramatization of an important histor historical finding, an iMovie made on the iPad, allowing students to share their expert knowledge on, on an ancient civilization, etc. One of the topics I researched was the identity of the Durham skeletons. I did it on a Google slide presentation. One of the topics I did was on the face justice, which I also did on a Google slide presentation. One of the topics I did was the death of Alexander the Great, and I did that on a newscast. One of the topics, topics I did was the cause of Intersuno's death, and I did that in the iMovie. Please, Please come to our fifth grade and see our project and all the neat things we have done using our Chromebooks.